Five years ago, I had the privilege of being church warden here. When I took charge of the church, I went round and acquainted myself with all the areas that um, were under this roof. And I noticed for the first time uh, of being in this church, the stairway to the bell tower. It's a very unusual staircase. All its timbers are continuous. There are no joints in it. The um, muntings and the panels in between had fallen out over time and some elm boarding was put in to help stabilize it. The elm boarding was quite heavy and caused a lean on the balustrading. I was very uneasy about it and called in an expert from St. Paul's Cathedral and he gave us some very, very wise words on it. And from then, we engaged the DAC and the DAC put us on to, to Hugh. I was asked to come in and look at a, an ancient staircase and I must admit I was bowled over when I saw it because uh, it was absolutely nothing like I'd ever seen before and nothing like I'd ever, well, I'd, there, there are no illustrations of similar staircases. Uh, so it was a, a completely novel uh, piece of woodwork. The sort of the key element are the triangular treads, which are solid oak, uh, which is quite a sort of, if you think about it, quite a common sense way of making it, because you haven't got to have a horizontal piece and a vertical piece, you just have one solid piece. Um, and so a number of these other staircases with solid treads can be found, but they were very crude. And what makes this one so particularly interesting is that it's got a very smart panelled side and an even smarter underside with uh, linen foil panels. I have never seen a staircase with solid chunks of oak as treads for the stairs. And we can see even the nails and the joins are very old. Without being experts, we have always known that these stairs are very special. And they are in a very special and very ancient part of the church. That transept is probably 12th or 13th century. It wasn't unknown at that time to have ladder-type staircases reaching up to, to um, pretty good heights. That kind of construction there wouldn't have been something new. In this case, it could well have been um, the fact that cost was the main consideration and that somebody had on their estate a tree that was long enough to produce the timber required. One of the most important things that, that I felt was the stairs weren't safe enough for anybody to go up and that I felt that they were not in their best. And we now are addressing this rather beautiful piece of woodwork and restoring it to its former glory. We have a, a wonderful church secretary and she worked tirelessly to discover who would do donate money towards what was going to be quite a costly um, renewal of the staircase. And almost miraculously our prayers were answered and money came tumbling in from all sorts of areas and, and different organisations, not only in the conservation business, but, but people who were just simply interested in history. If I had gone to the church and said I needed £50,000, they would have said, quite rightly, we haven't got it. But Hugh advised me that funding can be got for important heritage projects. So this started me on a journey. And so we raised the money without dipping into the church funds. One always loves to make the sort of judgment that something is unique, and I'm going to make a challenge that I'm going to say it is unique until somebody else comes up with another one. And some of the work's got to be done yeah, here on site, so that. they're working on that at the moment. The easy things to take back, like the, possibly the handrail, but certainly all the mountains and all the panels which need repair, they're small components. So they can go back to the workshop and we can let in new tenons and repair them and so on and so forth uh, as we need to. Uh, and then, then they'll come back uh, repaired, ready to put back in again. I think I've got the best job in the world because uh, I'm paid uh, to go to beautiful buildings and look at 
completely wonderful um, bits of, in my case, woodwork. Uh, and yes, and to take it to pieces and if we have to, and, and repair it and put it back together again. Um, and there's no books on it, there's nothing written about it. We are discovering and writing the history books with every job we do.